Hi there, I'm Java Jim with First Line Equipment, and thank you for coming back to watch our YouTube channel here. Um, just a couple notes, hopefully everybody's safe and healthy during uh, the coronavirus pandemic. I haven't shot in a video here probably in about a month. Uh, the simple reason is we are busy. I mean, we're pretty busy. So I've been working really hard here at First Line with a lot of customers, a lot of new customers, repeat customers, and if you notice, if you looked in the past, my Lelite shirt looks like it shrunk. It didn't. I gained a little weight during the coronavirus pandemic here. So much weight that my man boobs aren't showing too much. How about that? So it looks a little tight here. Wires coming down for the mic, but we're doing okay. Trying to lose that weight back again. And one way I try to lose weight is actually drink more espresso. More energy, more go, more calories burned. So that's my little trick and a couple other little tricks. What are we doing here today? So here we still have working and put under the mill, working hard is the original Lelite Bianca prototype version one. This is the machine that we received in March of 2018, a machine that we've shown many, many hundreds of customers here who visit us at first line um, to show them the Bianca and how well it works. And many, many have walked out the door with one, which is absolutely phenomenal because it does make great espresso. And uh, the reason we're here today is two, two reasons. One, uh, Lalit keeps on yelling at me because of the darker wood on the knobs. And this, we've already changed this. If you look at this knob, this is different than what you have on your machine. This was the original dark brown, okay? And was the, the hand, basically the paddle goes sideways. Well, my tech decided to get um, a little smart one day and decided to put the paddle in the upward position so there's more rotation for um, the flow control device. That's the Mara X behind me making a little noise. Another good machine you should look at. Uh, this machine also, like I said, has been run through the mill because we actually do testing and experiments with it uh, for some stuff that may be uh, upcoming from first line. Uh, can't share any secrets, but things that uh, you can modify on your current machine, they're not gonna be offered by Lelite, but just a little, uh, tidbit preview because we're working on some custom things for this machine uh, and this is actually one of them is something you could do yourself and have your own paddle so you have more play going back and forth i do like the original design don't don't doubt me on that uh, the second reason is we put this through the mill so much that we actually wore down the wood here a little bit we wore down the wood on the paddle i mean this machine's been working phenomenally well but it's kind of for those two reasons why we want to change the wood to the black wood kit okay which we sell on our website and basically we're going to go over to put the black wood knobs and also the feet A little uh instruction manual here Okay, we get those feet out. We have the black paddle. We have the C-clips that are gonna go in here. The black handle or knob for the lever, more feet. And the in the kit, two new portafilters. Okay, so you'll have extra portafilters. Now, why don't they just include the wood um, on this kit, which is actually PLA 2201 is the code on our website. So I'll move that box over here on the side. Well, the reason is, and some customers may know this, um, when they put the wood onto the portafilter, there's a bolt in there and they actually put thread seal in. And the only way to get this handle off is by getting channel locks or some type of pliers putting this in a grip and literally trying to take it off. So 
it was much easier just to uh, give new handles for you and for Lalit. Uh, baskets are not included, but here again, so much wear and tear uh, from this machine. In a home environment, you're probably not gonna see as much, but here, this machine, go, 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 go. So uh, again, I've said this before, I'm trying to break this thing, can't break it. So just to let you know, uh, we're gonna start switching over. So in the future, if we use this machine, it's gonna basically have the black wood. Now, uh, everything arrives in a bag, so we'll take that out, take this out. And I think the Mara X in the back was actually making a little noise because Miss Mara was a little jealous that I'm making a video for Miss Bianca here. So it's probably why she made a little noise back there. But to be honest with you, the reason it makes noise is on that heat exchanger machine, what happens is if it senses the temperature is too hot in the thermosiphon loop, it'll inject some water into the thermosiphon loop to keep the temperature more stable. So that's the reason why. Okay, so two porta filters, we'll put those aside. Tools, pretty sure it's a two millimeter uh, Allen key wrench or a T8 uh, Torx. Uh, basically it's two, now this one's a little bit in reverse because my techs uh, played with this, but typically on the side, which will be here, there's an Allen key screw and you'll take this out. So on this one, we'll take it out this way. And that slides up. And then I like to bring this to the closed position. So this is open, this is closed and what I like to do is bring this where it's gonna be touching the wood. Cause if you bring it here, you can over tighten it and you may have some damage in there. So we'll bring it here where the wood, wooden paddle is touching. Okay, we'll just back it out just a hair. Get that in there as close as possible. If you still have a little space, it's fine, but we try to get as close as possible to the to the panel here. Just tighten that up. And when I'm turning this hand tighten and then just a eighth of a turn of a little strength, okay? So we have our paddle there, nice motion. Okay, again, uh, T8 Torx if you wanna use that. Wooden paddle here. Feet, okay, all you need to do is lift the machine up And my suggestion, take the water out of the tank. Uh-huh, they caught me by surprise. And it's probably not on your machine, it's only on the prototype. There's actually a bolt here. Okay, but yours, you should be able to screw right in. So the actual bolts on this one, on the prototype are different than the bolts here. So basically these will just unwind and then you'll put them in on the bottom. The prototype came with a different bolt size and they narrowed down the bolt. So that's gonna be it on the feet. We have four of those. And then for the group head lever, we have the wooden knob. And even on this one here, it's a little different. The original prototype doesn't have the metal threading on the inside. This one doesn't have any. So, and this hasn't even fallen off. This one will just thread in. That's me hitting the group head lever switch back here. Just hand tighten, not too tight. Get that back in there. And now a little bit of the hard part, because I don't have any fingernails and basically you need to get these caps off and the caps are held in with uh, O-rings. So you need uh, some type of a little pick uh, where you're gonna be able to just squeeze in here. If you can use the fingernails to get it out, great, okay? 
and then just get a little pick in there. If, if you want to maintain the wood, it's going to be a little tricky. If you don't care about the old wood, throwing it out. Okay. Just using it as leverage. And as you can see here on the chrome cap, there's an O-ring. That's what creates the friction in here. Okay, remember loosey-goosey on the knobs. Okay, you never want to over-tighten because you can ruin the gasset on the non-compression. Okay, in here, there is a C-clip. Okay, so we'll take this C-clip out. With the pick. Okay. They also, there was a bag of C clips here. Disappeared on me. Magic tricks. Metal sleeve. Just wind this out. Okay, that comes out like that. There's the original C-clip. Put the new black knob in all the way. The sleeve with this portion goes inwards. Get our C-clip. Slide that in there. push it in so it holds and then when you pull this out it basically opens a valve and again loosey-goosey here take the cap put it back in and then you'll do the same thing as I've already done now for the steam side so or steam and hot water whichever one you decide to do first so now we have all the black matching wood except for the feet uh, which again, the prototype had different bolts on the bottom. And here we go with the machine refilling. Well, now we have completed the Blackwood upgrade kit to the Lalit Bianca. Another way to customize your machine. Uh, and for those who don't necessarily want the walnut wood because of their kitchen cabinetry, uh, there is the option for the black wood. Uh, the machines, as far as Lee told me, will never come with this. This is always going to be an accessory kit. Uh, and it's something that uh, can change to and adapt to your kitchen environment, depending on which uh, color you would like. So not that difficult to uh, replace. Uh, you do need some tools that we went over. And now from now on, on the prototype, we're going to be using the black wood and no longer the darker walnut wood, which is not even available. And I'm gonna now have a Lilith stop yelling at me, sending me emails saying, don't use that machine, please use a newer one. No, we're still gonna use the prototype. And again, coming down the road, you're gonna see some customizations from us uh, here at First Line uh, that we're working on. There is actually a customization inside, but we're not sharing that secret yet because we're still doing some testing uh, with this machine. So I'm uh, happy that you've made it through this far. Glad you're watching. Once again, thank you for watching here at First Line Equipment. And as they always say, coffee first, everything else second. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Give us a nice like down below. And also your comments are appreciated. And there'll be a link to find and purchase this great black wood for your Lalit Bianca. Thanks for watching Mara X. Take care.